What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got two new stories, two questions. Let's go. Our first story of the day has to do with the cameras on the Galaxy S23 Ultra and a new feature that it's going to get. It sounds kind of cool and I probably will be interested in this. Now, the tweet is coming from Ahmed and Ahmed is saying that Astro Hyperlapse is coming to the Galaxy S23 Ultra phone. You can shoot a short video clip from day to night in a professional way. There is a feature dedicated to photographing Photo photographing stars with high quality images, especially for the stars. So sounds like there's two things going on here. Video, short video from day to night and then also a high quality image of the stars. Now capturing a, a, a day to night photo, does that mean you have to leave your phone out the whole entire evening? Which it doesn't seem like a lot of people would end up using that feature because they don't want to leave their phone out at, at night in, in, all by itself. And then to add on to that, the dedicated um, getting better photos of the stars. I love that idea. Um, I think that'll work out fantastic. It's like night photos, like what we got now. I did a video on it actually. Um, so we'll keep our eyes peeled on that, but it definitely sounds like a feature that's going to be kind of a selling point in a lot of ways for folks. Our other story has to do with an ad that Samsung officially pushed out on the Samsung China. They pushed out this ad and I'm going to show you a screenshot first and then we'll watch the ad together. But here's what it says. It says, if you notice what's inside the cameras in this ad, you will conclude what Samsung will focus on cameras, night photography quality and picture of the moon and the stars see thread to see what I mean. But basically, if you look at these photos down below, you can see that they're showing exactly kind of what we spoke about, that they're really going to harness into and, and pick up a lot of quality in nighttime photos. And then mode for moonlight capture the night, even in low light, stunning night photos are coming soon. And they're talking about the Galaxy S23 ultra phone on there. So that's, you know, when we think about this in terms of the camera quality, you always want it to get better. And if you can improve in nighttime photos, which I don't always take a lot of nighttime photos, but it is something cool to, to take sometimes when I'm walking my dog or just out in the woods on a camping trip of some sort um, or whatever. I, I think this is great to add that extra in. Let me know about you guys. Are you into nighttime photography? Let me know in the comments down below. When do you actually use it for your nighttime photography? What are you actually doing? Let me know that as well in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video. Big Freddy's basically asking about the TCL Tab 10 5G where he went into developer mode and clicked on force apps to SD card. When he clicks on an app, there's no change option that'll allow you to move the uh, app to SD card. So in order to do that, you're going to have to go into, if, if this even works not, because I don't currently have the tablet near me, but ultimately go into settings and then storage, or is it apps? See the storage, I think it's apps actually, and see if it's in there to move it within storage. So you go into settings, apps, and then look through storage and see if you can move it to the SD card. If you're not allowed to, then you're not allowed to, but that's where it would be. And our last question comes from Sean Shah saying, do you think they should give us eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs storage, and lower the base price of the S23 Ultra to 1099, or do you think they should proceed with 1199 price and make the base 12 gigs, 256? I think if you're gonna compete with, for instance, Google, they have their Pixel phone for, what was it, 899? And that comes 128 gigs of storage and 12 gigs of RAM. So I think they, and then their 999 is 256, 12 gigs of RAM and 256. I think they should be 1099, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. That's my, my want and I think that's what they should do. Thanks for watching. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the hashtag question. We'll answer it in tomorrow's video. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.